Welcome to a week of my workout. Today's gym outfit, these leggings are from Sheen. These are from my Sheen haul. Yes, I still wear these. They're amazing. I'll link them down below. And you guys can also watch my Sheen active wear haul if you haven't seen that already. These have a cross waistband, kind of like the American Eagle Airy leggings. That makes it so flattering. I love these leggings. They're so good. They're so stinking soft. I am wearing this black long sleeve from Target last year, the All in Motion brand. It's just a plain long sleeve and then my sports bra is from Gymshark. It's one of these really cute cross ones. They're so flattering. It's the gym fit for the day. Let's get this day going. I'm so excited for this workout. <music> or hello if you guys are new my name is katie happy monday or whatever day of the week it is for you so excited to share with you guys a little bit of my morning routine throughout the week we started off the week nice and strong i woke up at 6 30 this morning thanks to daylight savings and topper waking me up early i just decided to wake up also at 6 30 and if i went back to bed i probably would have slept till way later than i wanted to so i'm trying to like switch up my gym schedule this week and get to the gym earlier than normal. Normally I go around 9 or 10 a.m. I always wake up at 7 a.m. though. I'm just trying to get my workout done in the morning and kind of out of the way I guess you could say and I can get ready for my day and just feel a little bit more ahead of schedule. This morning though I did to the gym at like 7 15. I'm gonna see how that goes throughout this whole week. I work out about four or five times a week. I'm also a dance instructor so my job is very physical so four to five times is really good for my personal schedule just kind of figure out what is best for you and today was an arm day I do arm days twice a week so today was a back and biceps day I did not get that much filmed this morning because the way the lighting was in the gym was horrible and it was causing all kinds of blares but also i am so lucky that normally i get the gym to myself and i don't have to worry about other people when i'm trying to film but today of course of all days somebody came into the gym and i'm super grateful that like i normally don't run into this problem but i don't like filming when other people are there especially because my gym is so small that i'm most likely gonna get them in the shot that i'm filming i feel like that's kind of unfair to them the gym is a very vulnerable place and some people don't want to be filmed at the gym so i didn't get that much footage because of that but i did probably about like four or five back exercises on the cable machine i kind of stuck to the cable machine this morning i love doing that for back days i did a couple bicep exercises as well Recently on my arm days, I've been doing a run on the treadmill to start or end my workout. I just love getting in cardio because on arm days, I don't really sweat as much. Obviously, you don't have to sweat in order to get a good workout. I just like how cardio makes me feel. Hopefully, tomorrow will go a little bit better as far as filming my workout. Hope that this video gives you guys a little bit of motivation or maybe some inspiration to switch up your morning routine. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. my gym outfit of the day. I'm wearing these leggings from Amazon. You can hear Topper rolling around over here. These are from my recent Amazon legging haul video. So if you haven't seen that, you need to go watch it because these make your booty look so good. This is just like a basic black tank from Gymshark. It's from their Breeze Lightweight Seamless line. I don't know if they still carry it or not. I'll have to check on that. My sports bra is also from Amazon. It's a dupe of the Energy Long line sports bra which is my favorite you can't really see it but has the same strappy back as well so i'll go ahead and link all of these let's go work out <laughs> So on 
leg days, I'm still doing a lot of my physical therapy exercises. If you guys watched my last week of workouts, I explain a little more about this, but my injury has gotten so much better along with my leg strength and my capability to do more on leg days, which is really exciting. So I start off with four different ab exercises. The first one is leg raises. I do all of these 10 times in four sets. Then I do this variation with my legs going out and in and my shoulders off the floor. Here I'm doing a side plank with a hip abduction. The last exercise is this plank variation, moving the weight back and forth, trying to keep your hips as still as possible, which requires a lot of core strength. So once I'm done with my abs, I start on four different leg exercises. This workout split is so perfect for me because I don't wanna overdo it and re-injure myself. And I started off with Bulgarian split squats, which really fatigued my legs from the start. I I also do all of these in four sets of 10 and now I'm going to do some sumo squats. It's super important to keep your knees over your toes with any leg exercise to prevent knee injury and also engaging your core in all of these to support your back. Then as if my quads weren't already on fire, I did some pulsing front squats and I love including this machine for my last exercise to get in that last final burnout. Then it's always super important to cool down and stretch after your workout to prevent some muscle soreness, but then again, I was also super sore still the next day. Happy Tuesday. I just got all ready for the day, about to sit down and take care of some work. This morning was way harder than yesterday, getting myself out of bed. Honestly, don't know how people make it to the gym at like 5 a.m. I was so tired during my workout today and I love drinking coffee. I'm a huge coffee drinker. I don't wanna drink pre-workout because I can only have so much caffeine. So I don't know, I'm still very unsure on this. I feel like I just need like a little caffeine pump in me before I go to the gym because I just feel so much better and I don't want to get in and get it done. I want to be able to spend time and enjoy my time at the gym. I'm still going to continue this for the sake of this video and I might make it like a November goal and just finish it through. I feel like you got to continue a habit for a while until you realize whether you actually like doing it or not. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Not gonna lie, I thought this day was leg day so I started doing some of my leg day warm-ups which was still good for me to do before my run. As I mentioned earlier, I've been doing a mile run every arm day to get in some sort of cardio. Then I realized it was actually arm day, so I grabbed a resistance band to open up my shoulders and get my upper body nice and warm. Today is a shoulder and tricep day. This first exercise is an around the world into a Y press, and then I go straight into tricep kickbacks. So you got to make sure that your core is engaged and you also squeeze your elbow in tight to your side. I move over to the cable machine for some more tricep extensions. I'm doing some face pulls here. The cable machine is really my favorite way to get in a good tricep workout. Hello you guys, happy Wednesday. I have the Netflix fireplace going on in the background on my TV, which makes it so cozy because we don't have a real fireplace in our apartment. That fire is rip roaring back there. It is wild. I wanted to be 100% honest with you guys. My workout today did not feel like it was my best. I wasn't in the right headspace, I feel like, which is 100% okay. You're not always gonna do the hardest, most intense workout that you've ever done in your life. Just as long as you do your best for that day, that's all that matters. And as long as you showed up to the gym, you put in some work, you got some movement in, that is honestly the best thing that you could do for yourself. And then I'm gonna go back in on Friday, ready to crush my workout. Anywho, I feel like I just was not in the best headspace. Maybe it could have had to do with the fact that I'm PMSing right now, and that really affects your energy levels. I also think that it has to do with filming my entire workout. I'm being completely honest because when I'm filming, I'm thinking about is the lighting okay? Is this angle good? Like I'm taking so many breaks trying to set up my camera to film that it's taking away from getting in that mindset. It makes my rest times way longer because I am thinking about all of this. It's just sad because I like sharing it with you guys. I'm gonna finish out this video. I'm still gonna film for you guys on Friday because I still have another leg day to do. The gym is kind of like my space 
to get out of my head. It's kind of like my time to work on myself. So those are my thoughts. I don't know. I kind of like left the gym feeling frustrated today instead of feeling like, yeah, I'm going to kill it today. This is going to be a good day. I feel like these workouts are not the best I've ever done, but also kind of glad that I'm feeling this way today because I want this to be realistic. It's now Friday. You can probably hear the people upstairs vacuuming. I want to show you guys my gym outfit today. Also, the H&M bags in the background. That is for my video next week. Anyway, these leggings are Gymshark Animal Adapt Seamless Leggings. To be honest, I don't know if these are actually my favorite leggings. They're so cute, but I feel like Gymshark's quality has kind of gone down a little bit. They still work. They still look cute. They're just not my absolute favorites. As far as like fit goes, they feel a little bit tight, but this tank top is the same one that I wore on Wednesday from Amazon. Link it down below because it was only 20 bucks and it's so cute it just has like a plain racer back it was in one of my amazon active wear videos also gonna do another leg day today the final workout of the week and since it's another leg day i'm starting off with four core exercises and warming up my glutes with this booty band that is actually from five below it's really important to get your body nice and warm and i do all these core exercises first so that later when i'm doing my legs i don't have a hard time engaging my core during my workout i also start off with some dynamic stretching and mobility exercises because i really don't feel like injuring myself again this first lower body exercise is hip thrusts. You want to make sure that you keep your chin tucked in. And I use a dumbbell since our small gym doesn't have any bars, but it works great anyway. Next up is a single leg deadlift. You want to think about pushing your booty to the wall with this one instead of bending at the knee and hold the dumbbells as close as you can to your legs as possible. With also trying not to put weight on the back foot. Next, I'm doing a sumo squat into a deadlift and finishing off my workout on this same machine, but this time working on my hamstrings. And that's it, you guys, for this week of workouts. I might actually do one more workout tomorrow. I'm gonna do the 12, 3.30 on the treadmill, which if you guys don't know what that is, it's a walk at the speed of three on an incline of 12 for 30 minutes. And it sounds like it might be easy, but it's actually kind of difficult. And it's a really nice way to get in a quick workout and not have to think. I just put on like a YouTube video or a show and get in a good cardio, but also like works your legs a little bit. I might do that tomorrow before I have to go to work, but I wanna get this video up for you guys today. I'm not gonna film it. I'm just gonna go and do that in the morning. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like it and I will see you all next time.